Now, the panel is called Women in Gaming, and I kind of deliberately have avoided talking about how you guys are all women because we might as well just call this a, you know, a panel on gaming or the gaming industry. But I do want to touch upon the topic about women in the game industry. So uh, do you guys feel there is uh, more women working in the gaming industry now? Do you feel like it's struggling? What is the state of kind of women in gaming in the gaming industry in your experience so far? I think my experience is relatively limited as I'm new on the scoring side for games. With that being said, I mean, there are some incredible women working games. I mean, you look at the career that Sarah Shackner has had, um, uh, Nanita to say, uh, taking over on some uh, the Call of Duty DLCs recently. I mean, I think this is similar to probably every other area of scoring. We have, you know, uh, less numbers on some of the bigger titles, but I think it's getting better. Um, you know, I, I, I have talked about this topic in various ways over uh, years and years. Um, and at the end of the day, I hope that the same as any other form of media, we just get looked at as uh, being hired for the job, who's the best person for the job. And if that means we get more women into the workforce, then I'm all for it. I think, you know, it's important in, in games, in TV, in film, to just have women be a more of a part of the conversation, because if we're a part of the conversation, then we have the opportunity to get the jobs. And if we're not given a seat at the table, then there is no opportunity to even be, you know, invited to those jobs. Um, but again, my uh, experience in scoring games is limited. I've had a very positive experience thus far. Um, so that's what I can say on that. Um, I have worked in the entertainment industry for a really long time and in games for a really long time. And it's certainly true that um, I think across the board representation uh, for women and for other minorities has certainly improved in the game industry. I would say, especially in the last five to 10 years, um, there's there's a lot, a lot more uh, women working in house in games and also as composers and as performers and in other areas of of the games industry, the kind of ecosystem of games. Um, the studio that I currently work in, um, I'm the studio audio director, so I'm not specifically the audio director on a project, but I'm the studio audio director. We have another female audio director who I work with. The head of my studio is a woman. The studio art director is female. The studio narrative director is female. Um, our chief financial officer is, of our studio is, uh, is female. Um, we have a lot of uh, very uh, senior women in our studio and, and our, our GM, Rebecca, is is a, a real force in, in that area, a force for for the um the I don't know the the promotion of mm -hmm. of women in games. Um but I do see also within music and also within characters in games more main female characters in games so more actresses having the starring role in games that kind of thing is important to see yourself to see yourself reflected in the things you play with especially when you might spend hundreds of hours in these environments is very important and um for instance uh battlefield um uh 2042 we have Hilda and Sam as the composers on that game and Hilda is an Oscar winning uh composer and we have we're working with them right now on on uh, on Battlefield so it's there are more and more women but we're certainly not um it's not even <laughs> it's not equal and I think we do need to keep promoting and talking about it and being visible and supporting one another and giving each other confidence and also pushing ourselves forward. There's one thing I would say to the people listening is, and I've said this in previous panels and at GDC, which is a big game conference in, a, in round tables there, that sometimes people self-select themselves out. Mm. Don't self-select yourself out apply 
put yourself forward, make those connections, send out your your work, meet people at conferences, do those things. Like don't self-select yourself out because often I will have a job opening and I'm really looking, (laughs) I'm really looking. And sometimes people will say to me, oh, I didn't apply because I didn't think I was qualified or I didn't send you my reel because I didn't think you'd want to hear it. And I'm like, no, don't self-select yourself out. And, And maybe that's not true. Um, or maybe that's not people's experience, but I've heard people say those kind of things to me, and I would really like people to have confidence and put themselves forward. Absolutely. What about you, Sarita? How does it look like from your angle, especially as someone kind of new, newly coming into industry? Are you feeling a representation, or uh, what are your thoughts? Yes, I think, especially in recent projects, I think, and the people that I work with, uh, a lot of them are women, actually. And I've seen that more also in recording studios, which is great. Um, And also, like, uh, I was working for my professor that she has a new company for audio. And all of us, we're women and we do uh, everything, like, yeah, from composing to... uh, making sure everything is good to go and orchestrator orchestrating so i think it's looking pretty good but i guess we need to keep working on maker making ourselves more space 